Jesse V. Do you like my Tales from the Crypt shirt? It's not even close to Halloween yet, and I'm already pulling them out. All right, so in today's video, this is going to be a part two of Eerie Titanic Facts. I did part one a few months ago, and you guys seem to really love that video. And while this video is very dark and sort of creepy with the things that you find out, I also find it so fascinating. So I'm going to be getting into that in just a second, but first I want to announce that I made some more handmade jewelry that I just want to show to you guys as usual. The first one is a cloud necklace. So every single necklace is going to be different because the clouds are just sculpted differently inside of them. But it's like this blue resin necklace that has like 3D looking clouds inside of them. It's like you captured a cloud and put it into a necklace. And then I have another one that is similar. It does have some clouds in it, but it has like a raven inside of the necklace. It's so interesting. It kind of reminds me of Halloween. But those ones, each one's going to be unique as well, depending on the clouds and where the raven is placed. So if you would like one of those new necklaces, I've linked it down below. I love them so much. And thank you guys so much once again for all of your support. All right, let's get right into this video with more eerie Titanic facts. The first thing I wanna mention is that when the Titanic first sunk, newspapers mistakenly reported that there were no casualties. In the race to publish a headline about the disaster, numerous newspapers gave families and loved ones false hope about the sinking of the Titanic. It says the world newspaper reported no fatalities, the Daily Mail declared no lives lost, and the Belfast Telegraph claimed no danger of loss of life. American newspapers were able to take advantage of the time difference and their headlines were more accurate. But could you imagine having family or friends on the Titanic and seeing the newspaper saying, oh, everyone's fine, everyone's saved, and then later finding out that many, many people died. I mean, that's horrible. Next, I wanted to talk about the music on the boat. The famous story of the musicians playing as the ship went down is one that grabs the heartstrings. The leader of the eight musicians, his name was Wallace Hartley, played a violin trying to keep the passengers to stay calm as the ship sank. Now, in the ship's very final moments, they played the song Near My God to Thee, and Hartley went down with the ship that night. His body was recovered two weeks later with his violin strapped to him. Now, the violin was an engagement gift for Hartley from his fiance, and literally engraved on his violin were the words, for Wallace on the occasion of our engagement from Maria. Now, this violin was found in an attic in 2006, and it was in a case marked WHH. The violin was then returned to his grieving fiance who never ever married again. So it's actually a really tragic love story as well. Next, we have a story of a hat. According to those who explored the wreckage, one of the eeriest aspects is seeing objects that would have definitely been touched by human hands and have stayed in the same place that their owner left them. First class passenger Henry Harper left his bowler hat in his closet next to his coats the night the Titanic sank. What's really eerie about the whole thing is that his hat never left that closet even when the boat sank. It sat surrounded by the ruins of Harper's cabin exactly where he left it. The next thing is that a key could have potentially saved the Titanic. In 2007, 95 years after the sinking, an ordinary key was put up for auction. This key was thought to open the crow's nest locker, which had contained binoculars, equipment which could have potentially saved the Titanic from disaster. Now, obviously binoculars were vital in detecting threats back in the day, especially on boats. And the owner of the key, second officer David Blair, was removed from the crew right before the Titanic set sail. And due to the haste of the change, he forgot to hand the key to his replacement. So the people who were in the crow's nest, which is a part of the boat where you look out, they did not have those binoculars. So they had to rely on their eyesight to detect any threats. And people think that's one of the reason why they did not see the iceberg on time. So if they had had those binoculars like they were supposed to, maybe things would have been different. Unfortunately, the key may never be able to unlock the full mystery of the binoculars and the Titanic. So basically no one really knows what would have happened if they did have that key to get the binoculars. The next fact is that they made a Titanic movie 29 days after the Titanic sank. This was a black and white movie. Dorothy Gibson, a popular actress at the time, acted in a movie about the sinking of the Titanic less than a month after the ocean liner sank. Now the craziest thing is that this actor, Dorothy Gibson, she was actually a passenger on the Titanic and experienced the 
sinking firsthand. They wanted to call this movie Saved from the Titanic, and at first she did not want to appear in this movie because of her PTSD. I mean, she was still traumatized by the event. However, her producers hounded her to do the movie, convinced her that it would do really well due to its captivating story. Now, they completed this whole movie within a week, and she had multiple breakdowns while she was filming. Obviously, she was experiencing things that she had already gone through. She kept bursting into tears while they were filming. It was just horrible. Once the film was released, it was not received well. Many critics were appalled that a studio would make a movie about one of the worst maritime tragedies in history one month after it happened. People also found out that the main actress was actually on the ship and they felt horrible for her. I mean, the whole thing was terrible. Who makes a movie about a tragedy right after it happens? The next fact is that the iceberg may have been photographed. An ocean liner called the SMS Prince Adelbert had set sail on April 15th, 1912. During the day, someone that was on the boat spotted this iceberg that they were passing and it had this huge red streak on it, which was very strange. It almost looked like a ship's hull had scraped against it. So they took a photograph of it and at the time, the sinking of the Titanic was still unknown to this crew of the Prince Adelbert. So the steward actually wrote a note on this photograph. It said, on the day after the sinking of the Titanic, the steamer Prinz Aldebert passed the iceberg shown in this photograph. The Titanic disaster was not yet known by us. On one side, red paint was plainly visible, which has the appearance of having been made by the scraping of a vessel on the iceberg. So this is probably the iceberg that hit the Titanic, which is crazy to actually have a photograph of it. Next, there was a cancelled emergency drill. On April 14th, the day the Titanic struck the iceberg, an emergency lifeboat drill had ironically been scheduled, but due to unknown reasons, the drill was cancelled by Captain Smith. Now, people think that if this drill had actually gone through, many more lives could have been saved, because the passengers would have more likely have followed the guidelines and the rules instead of, like, rushing everything. They may have followed proper protocol to get everybody off of the boat. But the thing is, people said there wasn't enough lifeboats to begin with, so I mean, who knows? Then I just wrote down some really quick other facts about the day. It says that men dressed up as women to get onto the lifeboats. Scientists also think that the entire wreck of the Titanic will be completely gone by 2030. They think there will be nothing left. This is just because of the bacteria that's eating away at it. Then there's what's called the Just Missed It Club. Days after the ship went down, newspapers began compiling lists of people who had bought tickets but never boarded the Titanic. They called them the Just Missed It Club. Then you guys know Hershey's Chocolates. The owner of the famous chocolate company, Milton Hershey, was supposed to be on the Titanic, but he sold his ticket at the last minute. So who knows, he may have went down with the ship if he had gone on there. So yeah, those are more creepy, disturbing, sad Titanic facts. If you guys want me to make a part three, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I probably have enough facts to do one more video, but honestly, it's very tragic and it's a very horrible part of our history, but I hope you guys found this video interesting. And yeah, just another reminder that if you guys would like to join this channel, there is currently the Littlest Pet Shop video up right now. When you join, you're able to watch it. And I think the next video I'm going to be doing is one on the Monster High dolls. So if you would like to get access to that, I'm doing an extra like three videos a month. You can press the join button. And also if you want to check out the new necklaces that I have made, I've also linked that down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!